I thought you was against authoritarianism. How can you say you're against authoritarianism, but you support this fascist police state that steals wealth from the working class? How can you how can you say you're anti-authoritarianism if you support the system that imprisons one fourth of the world's prison population because they got financial incentives to do that, right? So now these same people who like, oh, I'm anti, I'm anti-Trump, and not even just the right wingers. There was people like, I'm anti-Trump because Trump is authoritarian, is authoritarian. But now these same people like Black Lives Matter, who I've been ripping to shreds on this show because they went to bat for Jim Crow Joe, even though Jim Crow Joe said he was going to increase police funding. He wrote the Patriot Act. Wrote the Patriot Act. But Black Lives Matter endorsed them. Captain Crime Bill. So I've been calling out A1 Cotton and this and this for this because I, I co-founded Tender Man of the Zoya. This is an issue I'm extremely passionate about because I am actually class conscious and I understand that if you're, you're not class lawyer, you're not fighting... Uh, you're not even challenging power unless you challenge the prison industrial complex. Why do you think there have been a full-fledged media attack on the concept of defunding the police? Because they understand the threat that is power. So even with, once again, I support a lot of the ass on the travel convoy, but you guys saw that there was a giant right-wing capitalist infrastructure that was supporting it, right? There was no giant capitalist infrastructure that is supporting real abolitionist works, and I'm going to show you guys an example why. Despite the narrative that right-wing populists are saying, they say, oh my God, the Democrat Party is the party of defunding the police. The Democrat Party, as I've been reporting on the show, and not many shows have been reporting on it because a lot of people have punted the ball on this issue because they think challenging the police state is too hard. No one have covered the police state more than revolutionary blackout. No one covered the police state more than revolutionary blackout, and the Democrats have actively been running on, running, on funding the police more. Mm -hmm. So you got right-wingers who are pretending that Democrats are all about defunding the police. That's not the case. The Democratic Party, as well as the Republican establishment, is against our movement. Our movement is actually challenging power. So despite the narrative that right-wingers are running with, because I guess it helps them in white suburbia, they say, oh, the Democrats want to defund the police. No, they are actively funding the police more because Joe Biden took money from the HEROES Act, sorry, the CARES Act, and now he's using it to fund police more than mm -hmm. Donald Trump did. Now, not only that, and this is why the Democrat Party is the more effective evil, because Republicans all over, uh, sorry, the police all over the country is getting more money than they was under a Republican-dominated government, because now you have complete harmony among DHS than local and state-level governments. So the Democrats are not funding the police more because they're more evil than Republicans. The Republicans then fail to fund the police more because they have better intentions than Democrats. I am telling you guys, the Democrats are the most effective evil. So that's why if you vote for them, you are actually hurting our community. You're not seizing the house, to be mm. clear. Also, during that live stream, not one question about police funding. Oh, really? And we all know how it went because they all get the message. Now, I already prefaced the story way longer than I should have, but I wanted to give it proper context. So I want you guys to know every single Democratic mayor it's running on increased police budgets. So now they have this LA mayor race that's going on, right? And every single candidate in the LA mayor race, despite the narrative that's coming from the right, that Democrats are somehow supportive of defunding the police, every single candidate in the LA mayor race, and I've been tracking this, this is the same throughout the entire country. We saw it in the New York race when no one, uh, except, what's that, what's that one candidate? I forgot her name. Fuck. She didn't do well. There was only one candidate that supported defunding the police. In the New York mayor race, she didn't do well. Um, but every single mayor race, every, every single mayor candidate is taking the side of the police state. Every single one. Every single one. We are in the middle of a pandemic. We have no health care. An increase in homelessness population. But every single Democratic mayor, instead of addressing no problems, they want to give the police money more. So do you guys want to see what's, a, what's great? People are waking up to this. Despite the, like, we are, like, black radicals and activists, we are not allowed into the political discourse. That's why this channel has been a shock to a lot of people. Because this is the first time you guys get to hear the opinions of poor, working class, radical black people. And make a lot of you guys uncomfortable. I like so it. So I, I did a criticism of Black Lives Matter. And I told you guys how Black Lives Matter leadership sold, you, sold us out. And I told you guys, despite the fact that Black Lives Matter sold us out, as activists, we should not even be deterred because... We don't need these organizations. The organizations are a good, like, center organizing hub. But we have the power. Like, this is what me, Rome, and CJ are trying to tell you. We can do this shit. We can start Tour for the Poor. We can protest uh, our, uh, our power structure without these sellouts. We have the power. So I want to show you guys this. So despite the fact that Black Lives Matter have sold us out, the leadership without a doubt have sold us out. 
activists on the ground starting to realize this. This is why you, you start you, you starting to see activists calling out the finances of Black Lives Matter. That you have the families that are victims of grifters like Sean King and Black Lives Matter calling these people out. So don't when I call out Black Lives Matter as an organization, I am not calling out the movement. I am calling out the grifters who are designed to kill and siphon the revolutionary movement. And I know I'm, I know I'm going for a while, but I'm presenting the story. I want to give you guys takes. But check, but check this out. So during this LA mayor debate, it actually got really, really heated because you had the LA mayor candidate say, like, we, we support the fascist police state. And now I'm going to show you guys the class divide and why I do not trust the white Democrat shit libs and why no black people should. And that is the message of the show. The message of the show is not you vote for whoever you want for. The message of this channel is you get the fuck out of the Democratic Party. So look at this. They have people protesting because the LAPD is the most corrupt, one of the most violent institutions in the world, period. And you have activists at this Democratic event. They support the Democratic Party. They're not as radical as us. A lot of people have not dem dem exited yet. They hear these people talk about criminal justice reform and they think they are on their side. But they do, they got they have revolutionary discipline. They reading the same stuff we're reading. So they realize that funding the police more while at the same time pretending that you are on our side, that does not miss no more. We are not tolerating that no more. So that's the debate. This is very, very interesting. This is why I had to cover this. They were protesting. Some dude said, no one want more cops in Los Angeles. And then you know how these debates are like plant or filled with a ton of Democratic Party ops and insiders because they get tickets, right? You guys know how they do that? Like lot mm -hmm. like maybe like DNC events. There are a ton of Democrats there. And then you have some activists that are there. There are activists, there are abolitionists there, there are people from the community, mostly black, indigenous, and brown people that was at this event that was booing these candidates for supporting the fascist police state. Meanwhile, the mostly white bourgeoisie Democrat audience started booing them. And then that prompted one protester to respond. Now, this is the Democrat Party in a nutshell, guys, and why Revolutionary Blackout has an openly hostile position against them. This is their mindset. You are, Think about what they was doing. You, in this overwhelmingly white room, are booing people of color. So remember, the overwhelmingly white room is because these are the Democrat Party insiders who get like the front row seats. They get an invite to all the debates. So they are not like people on the ground who are suffering from these policies. These are the Democratic Party operatives. But then you had the grassroots activists who are mostly black who are booing the Democrats for funding the police more and, and advocating for that. So the white bourgeoisie audience started booing the people they say they fight for. And then the outburst was stopped only after people six people was escorted by security guards. The Democratic Party is the party of the police state. Get it through your minds. So when we say stop voting for the Democrat Party, I am so done with you guys saying, oh, but then what else? That, for goddamn sure, not supporting the colonizer and presser, that for damn sure. So if you believe we are seizing the house by voting for this party, you are not only being, well, once again, the reason why we called them out is not just you making an innocent mistake, at this point, you are actively selling us out because this party you're telling people to vote for are funding the police more. And Marianne Williamson and the people at that event, as I mentioned before, didn't ask them one question about the police funding. Now you guys know why. 